Great. So let's actually move on now to retention. So same thing. We're going to go in and just start with a, a blank chart and build something basic here. Uh, so typically retention, the, the most common use case is saying, show me how users, uh, so let's say, sign up and then go on and perform some kind of critical action. Uh, at least that's, that's the most basic form of retention. So in this case, we can start you know, with the first event being a new user, same thing, right? And then let's take it and say um, how many of them actually, let's say, completed purchase. So right away we get uh, we get a certain number here. So what we see here is you know from the users who are new uh, by day one about two percent of them completed purchase, and then we see the number uh, skyrocket. Still, isn't that? Let's actually do something like um, where is uh, play a song? find instead this one. Okay, so the same thing. We're going to take a new user and then we're going to play a song or a video and we get a little bit higher numbers here. We're going to see the, the drop off. So in here we can see, you know, on day zero, uh, our all, the, all the new users that day, about 65% of them play a song. By day one, about 20% of them play a song and so on and so on. We see that the curve go down. It's a little bit, it's a different way to look at retention. The most common way might be to look at cohort analysis, which would be down here, right? So the cohort analysis, we have uh, the segment, let's say by day, we have users, how many new users were during the day, number 23rd, and then how many of them actually completed that action, which was play a song, right? And then we, we see the, the numbers uh, be put into a cohort analysis table with different shade in. And this is the, 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 the more classic retention report. In here, once again, we, we get a few other options. You know, we can we can filter these events. Um, we can also not use new user events. So we might want to use a, an action, maybe like a like a purchase event, and then see how many of them come back and do something else. Uh, so we can start to look at different uh, stages of actions for retention. In terms of actual retention uh, filters, right? Uh, Ampito has built a few things. We have end day retention, which is typical retention. Unbounded retention. We can have custom brackets in terms of how we organize users, right? Uh, the windows can be, let's say, 24 hours uh, from the moment they start, or actual calendar dates. You know, so actually looking at uh, calendar restrictions, not just uh, 24 hours from uh, when user signs up. And we have retention. We have a change over time, right? So we see, you know, how day one uh, retention has changed over time, or how day seven, day three, and so on, right? We have uh, the the different critical dates here and see if that's getting better or worse over time. So these are all, you know, a lot of little things that uh, make analysis really quite easy, right? These are things that uh, in other tools, you, they're theoretically possible, or you can, you know, do them in SQL or something like that. But by building them into the interface, it makes them really easy to analyze, right? A couple clicks and you get that certain view, right? You want to look at, is day one retention getting better over time? Typically in the past, you know, you might want to look at, um, for example, day one, and seeing if you know if it's if the shades getting dark over time, but this is it's one way of looking at it. It's obviously much easier to look at the chart and see if they one is consistent or is it trending upwards. Right? So these are all the little things uh, that you can do with retention and and build upon that. And this really probably concludes the the, the three core reports we want to look at. From here, we want to look out to to user composition, right? And see a breakdown of users. And then we're going to start diving deeper into some of the more advanced uh, reports that Abitur can offer.